Hi Pisces, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of October the 31st, Halloween, to November the 7th, 2016. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, and sharing these videos on YouTube with your family members and friends. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. And every single card for every single day of the week does not apply to every single person in the universe. But I can bring you clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions in a private reading. So, I welcome you to go to my website. And that is www.brendatarot.info. Now, Pisces, for any of you that would like a long-distance Reiki treatment healing, which is every bit as beneficial as it is if you were here in the person, because I set my bed up behind me, and we do this and conduct this on Skype. Visually, we can see each other, and I give you a one-hour treatment with universal life force divine energy healing. Should you desire a Reiki treatment, you can contact me at my medicine woman. Uh, Gmail email account and you'll find that on my website. See you soon. Pisces, we start our week on Monday with a fire card and you, my friend, have been given the five of fire. Fire cards have to do with setting our creative juices into motion, risk-taking, adventure, and self-development, my friend. It's telling me that there's going to be some bothersome details coming in the beginning of the week and an individual is going to want to create a conflict with you because this person has the same competing goals as you. Heads up for Monday, Pisces. We don't like confrontation, us Pisces, so you've been given a heads up to just get ready for this little bit of a conflict coming in. Two of fire on Tuesday, back to back, fire cards. So it's telling me that you've come into your own, my friend, and uh, you're doing very well um, at your place of work, and it's showing me that there will be some contracts and partnerships uh, being signed by you. Know that this is a continued move forward on your path. Crowning your week on Wednesday, you've been given an Earth card, the material part of our lives, jobs, professions, careers. This is the three of Earth. It can have to do with Mother Earth and eco situations and our closest circle, our families. This is telling me that you do have the, uh, the power of creativity within you, and you're going to be recognized at your place of employment for the high-quality work that you do put out, Pisces, because they show me that you are a tremendous team player. Three of Water for Thursday. Our relationship card can be uh, romantic and intimate, and other times not. This card has come up an awful lot in all the other readings, too, so it must be a time for weddings and celebrations and and graduations and birth announcements because this card has been coming up. And know that you're going to be receiving an invitation to one of these events because it says you need to have a good time and if you go, you will. On Friday the Sun, a very, very uh, major card. This is all about you believing in yourself and believing in your own dreams and uh, looking at things now more optimistic because there is a brighter future before you. Just like this sun is a big ball of bright light, uh, this is uh, the card of a happy outcome coming into you and brilliant new ideas that can lead you to success. Have confidence, my friend, in yourself because this shows me that you are on the right path and uh, you are a bright light yourself. Four of Earth, four Saturday. Well, this is that card that says money comes in the door and flies out the window. So it's a cautionary card. Uh, please know that you have obligations uh, to honor AE, your bills, and uh, and it won't be as stressful if you just sort of put that little bit away. It's always nice to uh, spend money on little luxuries, but this is a cautionary card to just pull back a bit on the range, Pisces. But it also shows me that you give 150% uh, to everybody else outside your door and that you need some me time now and that it's okay to say no, that you don't, you're not available or that you can't be there at that particular time for that particular individual. So please know that uh, you're spreading yourself a little bit too thin. So please step back and give yourself some quality me time as well. Now, the other part of this is people go to work, they put their money in the bank, they go to work, they put their money, and they're not enjoying any of it. So please know that it's okay to splurge now and then and enjoy a little bit of your hard work uh, and your toil and your hard labor that you put into your job and your profession. Also, it shows me that you are isolating yourself. 
You're hermitizing yourself. People are missing you. They're talking about you. They want your company. They adore you. So please get out there and enjoy your life and these people around you. This is also the card that I see some of you giving to the less fortunate. The charity card. Last day of the week, Sunday, water card. Six of water. So some of you, and this has been coming up a lot in the other readings too, some of you are uh, romanticizing and daydreaming and thinking about your past all the way back to your childhood. Yes, yeah, some of your memories are sad, but a lot of your memories are happy. So it's showing me that some of you are thinking that far back. Now, the, the material part of this card is that some of you are actually going to be dealing with situations with children directly right now in your life. At the end of this reading, I did incorporate that one Ascended Masters Oracle card, and they gave you this. See the other person's point of view. So if you're dealing with an individual, and of course we had that card here that talked about um, these bothersome uh, issues and this person wanting to have the same competing goals as you, uh, step back and observe the whole situation, if that's a particular situation this week for some of you Pisces. But whatever type of um, challenging situation you're in with another individual, please step back and look at the whole picture before you jump in with both feet into the quicksand and then try to swim out. Okay? I wish you a great remainder to today, Pisces, and a wonderful optimistic week again to look forward to. I leave you again with another quote. You only have control over three things in your life. The thoughts you think, the images you visualize, and the actions that you actually take. See you again next week, my friend, and know that I continue to stand in that circle of life for you, Pisces.